I am a little late for Vlogmas, but late is better than never, and I'm gonna take you guys through a day in my life. It is Monday, and it's one of those days where I didn't film a video the night before. Uh, so I got up nice and early at 7.30 a.m. right now, and we have to film a video that I wrote a script for last night, get it uploaded, edited, you know, put it on YouTube by 11 a.m. Now, in the spring and summer, I'm usually concerned about landscapers outside my window, you know, making a lot of noise. Now, a very unusual occurrence, there is a truck right outside where I film cutting down a tree. So they're making quite a bit of noise, as you can imagine, and God knows how long they're gonna be there. You know, they could be there till 11, 12, 1 p.m., and I'll never get to film my video. So I'm not really sure what I should do here. I have the option of waiting an hour or two and seeing if, you know, they stop cutting the tree, then I can film the video real quick, you know, edit it, get it uploaded, or I could just film it now and try to edit out the background noise. That's likely what I'm going to do. Uh, either way, the first thing I do when I get up, I hydrate, I film the video. If I don't have to film the video, uh, I usually just answer some emails. After everything is set for the YouTube video for the day, uh, I have to go down to Frankie's Syringe Meat and fill orders. But since I'm bodybuilding and lifting weights, I gotta get a meal in, get some calories in. So I'll eat something, and then we'll leave to go to Frankie's to fill orders. Uh, unfortunately, this day is an anomaly in, in the sense of that truck outside. Uh, so I definitely should have filmed this last night, and I would have if I knew this was going to happen. But I think we'll be fine editing out the background noise. Uh, some of you might be wondering, Frank, why is there a hamster cage behind you? Yes, I'm nuts. This is what I sleep in. You know, there's a lot of Wi-Fi signals, Wi-Fi concerns. I have a bunch of videos talking about that. I'll link those at the end here that you guys can check out. In regards to hydration, I just have some Mountain Valley spring water uh, right here. I'll just take a few sips and that'll be it. Let's film today's video. I don't lose my mind with this noise. I just finished uploading my video. Uh, the background noise wasn't too bad, uh, but unfortunately, the truck just stopped. Uh, so if I had a little bit of patience, uh, I could have done it now with no background noise. Uh, but, uh, oh well. Let's eat and get down to Frankie's. For breakfast, I'm going to have some veal tartare, just like maybe half a pound of veal, three egg yolks. We'll also throw three eggs in the blender with some milk, a little bit of honey, a little bit of vanilla powder. I'll have a glass of kefir as well and some cheese. So we're getting plenty of fat type of vitamins in the dairy, in the egg yolks, in the cheese, you know, the meat, water soluble B vitamins, protein, plenty of beneficial probiotic bacteria from the kefir and the cheese. A really delicious complete meal. If you guys wanna see me eat this meal or at least something very similar to it, Check out my raw carnivore bodybuilding day of eating video that I made earlier this week. Before I leave, I actually have to fill about 20 orders for Frankie's Naturals. Uh, so here I have all of my products laid out, shipping labels, packages, all that type of stuff. And we'll drop that off at the post office sometime today. So I'm all dressed up nice and warm. I got like four layers on and I even have some of these hot hand warmers. I put them in my underwear on some really cold days. Just helps to, you know, get started. Don't have to worry about being cold. And my car doesn't exactly have the best heating. So I just got some uh, documents here that I got to bring down uh, for the business. And, uh, and we're going to head over. I don't have anything ready to eat later, but got plenty of defrosted meat in my fridge so we'll just pick something out so the game plan for today is to go down to frankie syringe meat we'll full orders for a couple hours uh, then i have to go look at a new car we'll see how it is uh that's at 3 p.m so after that maybe we'll come back have a little something else to eat i'll go to the gym uh, then i have to film tomorrow's video and i have a bunch of work to do a bunch of emails to do uh, and stuff to catch up on my computer so a couple consultations later as well uh, so hopefully we get to bed at a reasonable time. It's a little cold, so I switched my hat. I feel like I'm playing rugby with this thing. <laughs> Some nice little ear flaps. We just got down. Here's some 
of the packing material outside. This is the styrofoam for our orders. We got the liver in here. Some marrow bones. Hey, Mike, what's going on? What's up, how are you? Some dry ice. Pile of orders. So it's about 11 o'clock now. Should be able to bang out most of the orders in a couple hours. Uh, of course, Adam and our new guy, Mike, have been here for probably five, six, seven hours now. Uh, I've been hard at work in my bed doing marketing work, but uh, I'll check in with you guys in a few hours. There he is. What's going on? What's up? Are, you, are you in the Bahamas mood yet? <laughs> So half the day I'm like in this freezer that's zero degrees. My like nose is numb. I can't talk because my lips are so cold. I'm wearing gloves and my hands are frozen. So it's not too bad, but I need to be, uh, need to get some like professional cold weather gear or something. Spencer, I know you watch my videos. You're killing me with this 60 pound burger patty order. I've been packing this order for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's about 4.15 right now. Obviously didn't have time to see the car today. Uh, we're just finishing up with filling the Frankie's free range sample packs. There is quite a bit of stuff that goes into these packages and then people can order additional stuff. Uh, like this person ordered the Frankie's free range sampler, pork tenderloin and the pork shoulder. We got some lamb brains here. Did about 100 orders total today. We have some packages here. Maybe about 20 here. What do we have up front, like another, the rest of them? We got the rest of the packages stacked up front here. UPS comes in, wheels them out to the truck. A lot of work. When we get a new facility and a loading dock, it'll be a lot easier. There's our storage room, all the, some of the cod livers back up there. Got quite a few cans left still, uh, but we'll probably be out within a month or two. Hopefully I dodge traffic. Usually gets a little crazy around this time, uh, especially in the Bronx at night. Uh, game plan still the same. Go home, have a quick bite to eat. We'll go to the gym, work out, get home. Uh, I think I'm gonna film the video I have to do for tomorrow, tomorrow morning instead of tonight. We'll see how I look. Frankie boy needs his beauty sleep. Adam's eating the cookies, right? Try some cookies. They're, too add they're addictive. Mike, how do you like the cookies? They're good. You gotta give them a little toast, but. They're really chewy. If any of you guys bought the healthy cookies we have on Frankie Syringe Meat, uh, throw them in a toaster, boil them in the oven for a few minutes, warm them up. They're amazing. These are actually the cookies that I made in my healthy cookies recipe that we did a few months back. Uh, not the same recipe, actually not even close to the same recipe. Uh, my, Adam, my business partner, is nuts. Uh, he used to work as a chef. He tried the recipe at least like... 60, 70 times. His wife must think he's nuts too. Uh, so he really perfected this recipe like using a bunch of different ingredients to get a really nice texture in there. So definitely try this out. I can't make them as good as this myself. Tell, tell them tell them how many times you try that recipe. Oh, at least 40. My wife is one of her red light foods. So uh, they're really healthy, but there's only so many healthy cookies you can you gotta get. We gotta get footage of your, of your kids eating like a spoon around stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, my little boy's too. He, he says it's so yuppy. It's very yuppy. <laughs> but he's, he's crushing the samurai. Just to reiterate the game plan, we're gonna go home. It'll probably be about 5:15, 5:30. Get to the gym. Probably be home around seven o'clock. If I was doing a live stream tonight, this would be a very long day. Uh, I mentioned earlier, I do have a consultation later. So, what are you gonna do? Work, work, work. This is why I usually try to leave before like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I left at 4.30, right now it's 4.56, and I've gone maybe half a mile down this block. As soon as I get on the highway, it's absolutely fine, but this street is an absolute nightmare. If you guys wanna live somewhere where you don't have to obey traffic laws, just move to the Bronx. I've never been pulled over, I've never seen someone get pulled over I can be on my phone holding my camera right next to a cop while driving my car and they won't give a shit. I don't even see the point of this construction worker guy with the flag. Because no one's going to listen to him. I can't really complain though. It's only like 45 minutes each way. I used to 
spend three, four hours in my car every day when I used to drive down to Manhattan every day. One time I was getting off on this exit and these construction guys literally closed the exit for like 15 minutes just to move a truck. And me and five other unlucky individuals in the middle of the day were stuck waiting for it. So the reason there's so much traffic here and usually anywhere in general is because of New Jersey and the George Washington Bridge. Uh, so once we get past that exit for the GWB, it should be pretty smooth sailing. You know, it's only 5 p.m. You know, people haven't gotten out of work yet. So you would think there's not too much traffic, but since everyone in Jersey is a lunatic, it's always backed up. I don't know why I talk shit about New Jersey so much when I'm from the Bronx. What's that saying I always use? It's like throwing stones when living in a glass house. This guy's going like 80 and a 50. And he honks me when I'm merging over. I uh, just got home. It's about 5.45. Took, you know, an hour and 15 minutes instead of Google Maps telling me it was going to be 40 minutes. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Uh, really exhausted after sitting in that car. I mean, for those of you guys that don't know, most of the day filling orders is spent carrying, you know, 50, 60 pound boxes of meat. So pretty much manual labor and I feel okay, but uh, let's get a little more energy in uh, with a meal, uh, hang out for 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll go to the gym. Uh, because if I go back out right now, I'm gonna have to sit in traffic for an extra five or 10 minutes on the way to the gym and I don't really wanna do that. Before I go to the gym, I'm gonna have a little bit of a shake. I'm gonna do three raw duck eggs, about a cup and a half of raw goat milk, some honey, some vanilla, just to get something in my stomach, have some energy, have some calories in. If you guys wanna see how I made this, either check out my bodybuilding day of eating or you can even watch my eggnog recipe video that I did about two weeks ago for something similar. It's around six o'clock. I just spent about half an hour, 45 minutes organizing my computer. Uh, we had that little shake. I'm actually bringing like four to five cups of goat milk to the gym uh, because I haven't really gotten my calories in. I also set up a little table here. I'm gonna be making some uh, cosmetic products tomorrow. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, but the game plan right now is we're gonna head to the gym. Uh, we'll get our calories in, we'll get our workout in. You know, we'll do some research, we'll write some scripts, we'll answer some YouTube comments. Hopefully get to just uh, relax for a little bit while doing some work on the computer. You guys hear the horns honking in the background? It's, it's like, it's like, like, you know, December getting close to Christmas right now. Everyone's nuts. Everyone's driving around. So thankfully the gym's only like 10 minutes away and it should be dead empty. So the only two things that I bring to the gym are my iPod and my keys. I usually leave my phone in my car. Uh, I also started tanning recently, uh, mainly because I have to, you know, film some videos. I want to look reasonable, not like a zombie. So I have some of my Frankie's Naturals moisturizing cream um, that I actually rub on my feet and certain parts of my body at the tanning salon that don't tend to tan as quickly. Uh, there's vitamin D3, vitamin K2, a bunch of uh, nutrients and high quality uh, food products that are in the moisturizing cream that really make you tan quicker. Just got to the gym, uh, still driving the complete crap box of a car, the Ford Taurus. Uh, this is, I think, 2004. Uh, I just got some snow tires on it, paid a few hundred dollars to try to get the heat fixed, uh, but it's still not working. I think I'm gonna buy a heater core myself and try to uh, try to install it. Uh, a couple things came up uh, fiscally, and I couldn't buy the new car I was saving up for, so we're gonna have to roll with this. I mean, there's only 70,000 miles on it, so it should be fine. You know, it's just I'm freezing my balls off in the car and uh, it's not too safe. But uh, speaking of money, uh, we can't film in the gym. And I wish I had the money to build my own gym somewhere, maybe sometime in the future. I can probably like bring my cell phone in, take a few shots here and there, but um, you know, the video format on the cell phone is different. I have to change it. It's, it's, a, it's a bit complicated and I don't want anyone saying anything. Uh, so, you know, sometime in the future, Maybe I'll move, maybe I'll go to a different gym, maybe I'll build my own gym in my house or you know, somewhere friendly where I can actually film my workouts. Uh, so this should take about hour, hour and 15 minutes and then uh, we'll head to the tanning salon. I rushed my ass over to the tanning salon from the gym because they close at eight o'clock and it's 7.55 right now. Unfortunately, up by my parents, people don't really wanna work so they close five minutes early. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna have something else to eat and uh, then we'll wrap up the day. Frankie boy's gonna look a little paler for his fitness update video.
This will be fun tomorrow. A couple hours of work. I'm just going to grab some yogurt. That's all I feel like having. And we'll grab my sister's yogurt so I can make her breakfast. So I just finished about a pint of yogurt with some raw honey. If you guys want to know anything about the food, the nutrients, all of that stuff, as I said earlier, check out my day of eating videos because otherwise this would be like 30, 40 minutes long between the time I take to eat everything, explain the stuff to you guys. I did want to show you guys around my room as it's where I do pretty much all the stuff for my YouTube channel. Uh, it is a bit of a mess right now. One, because I don't have enough space for things. Two, because I'm so stressed for time. Instead of washing my long johns after I wear them, I'll wear them two or three times because I'm such a clean little boy. Uh, so let's take a look around. You guys can see there's the green screen in the back. I actually have to get a slightly bigger one uh, because it's not long enough and I'll have to return this. I actually set this up really nice. I'm pretty proud of myself for not being a handyman. So I bought a steel pipe from Home Depot and I put it at the bottom to weigh it down. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see how I did that. I mean, maybe like a tutorial video to set up as a green screen, really simple and easy, but um, I don't know how relevant that is. Uh, here is my uh, double monitor computer. I got to set this up a little better. It's not the best setup. The desk isn't really that big. Uh, it is a standing desk. Here I just have some Mountain Valley Spring water. Um, nice wrist pad, uh, mechanical keyboard, uh, ambidextrous, uh, gaming mouse, pretty nice. Uh, the computer down here is something I built myself. I know it's a little dark, but you guys can't even really see it with the lighting here, but nothing special. Bunch of papers, some camera lenses. Uh, here is the hamster cage that I take all of the lovely ladies into. <laughs> guys, I've had way too many jokes with this. Way too many jokes. Uh, but what you guys do see is, you know, my face mask. I used to cover my eyes sometimes. Uh, I got some earplugs in there to drown out the noise. Uh, fresh towel to sleep on every night to keep my face clean. Uh, I actually have a sleeping bag in there with some blankets just to keep me really, really warm. Uh, the windows are usually blacked out, and this also helps keep the heat in for the winter. I gotta do a little bit better of a job. I actually just took my air conditioner out today. A little, little late for the season, but better than never. Some of you guys are wondering why I blink so much. The heat in this house in the winter time is really, really dry. So it really dries out my lips, dries out my eyes. I did have a dehumidifier over here, but I kept blowing the fuse in my room. And honestly, the dehumidifier makes it harder for me to breathe. I have another tripod, uh, some miscellaneous uh, camera equipment on the floor here, some paperwork. Uh, here's just a pile of clothes that I have to hang back up. Uh, these were the clothes I was wearing for various videos. Uh, down there, I have some EMF measuring equipment. I actually, I took my meter to the tanning salon because I wanted to test the bed for you guys. But seeing as the tanning salon was closed, I'll have to update you guys on that another time. Uh, there we have my whiteboard. We have the lighting that I use, one of the lights that I use. Another light that I use on the floor there. Uh, there's a space heater. Uh, just some storage I have, a magnesium spray. Uh, this I'm gonna actually spray on after I take my shower all over my body. I'll show you guys that. Um, just a mechanical alarm clock so I don't have to use my phone for any EMF. Uh, there's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here from my bartending days, just random stuff. Uh, this is just a basket of clothes I have to put away. Uh, here's a pile of the books that I used to read. Uh, should probably get rid of them. I haven't touched these in years. I haven't done a whiteboard video in a while, mainly because I'm not too confident in my lighting setup. If you guys know a board that lights up, please let me know. Because right now, I can't really shine these lights on the board. Because there's a, uh, you guys can see, there's a glare right there. It's, it's very hard to light this up and, and do this uh, properly. And on every single one of my whiteboard videos... And there are people in the comments complaining about uh, about it. And this is actually back from the histamine video we did a while ago. So there's the hamster cage. This is grounded. So down there, there's a plug into the wall. And that's attached to the cage. If you guys do a Faraday cage, it has to be grounded either to an outlet or to the earth outside. Otherwise, you don't have any magnetic fields. Not good. So many of you guys ask me for my hair and skin routines. And honestly, I don't really do anything special. But I'll show you guys anyway. And I'll show you everything in my bathroom so you know I'm not messing with you. You guys deserve a little sneak peek for the bodybuilding update. We'll just leave you guys with this. Here's my water flosser, toothbrush, tongue scraper. Here's a new batch of Frankie's Naturals tooth powder we're messing around with. Very good. I just use regular shaving cream because I don't really shave that much. I just got this new brush to comb my hair last week. I was using a comb before and I actually broke my old comb on my hair. so. 
that's why I have that. Um, this is the deodorant I use. Uh, this was the old tooth powder I was using. And my hair pomade is in the shower. I don't use that most of the time. Sometimes I use that. You guys don't pay me enough for a full body shot, so this is all you get. If I want my hair to be curly the next day, first I get it really, really wet. And then I just run my fingers through my hair to make sure it's nice and aerated and there's no tangles in it. And that's all I do in the shower. Final step of the curly hair. I just run my fingers through my hair after I get out of the shower. I just really like pull all the strands out. Make sure nothing's tangled. Make sure, you know, make sure the sides are pulled out. Make sure the top is pulled out. Make sure the back, everything is pulled out. No tangles, everything's out. And now over the course of the next, you know, 10 to 12 hours while I'm sleeping, well, it's air drying, my hair will become curly. Now, if I go to the tanning salon or I get some sun, the hair is much curlier and much more, uh, much more like Greek God-esque. Uh, but just this should be enough to get some, some curls. And that was my face routine. I just patted my face dry a little bit. Uh, if I ever wipe my face during the day, I just take a wet rag and I let it air dry. I don't use anything on my face. All I'm gonna do right now is put on some deodorant. Oh, and I gotta show you guys the magnesium spray. Magnesium spray, really simple. It's 100 milligrams of magnesium per six sprays. So I usually try to do between like 24 and 30 sprays. So I'll do like six sprays on one leg. And I don't do this naked. I always have my underwear on because if you get this on your private parts, you're not gonna have any fun. It, it, it can burn a little bit sometimes, especially on the more sensitive skin. Is anyone counting sprays? I just got some in my mouth. Burns a little bit. And then I'll try to spray my back too. And I guess that's it for you guys. Uh, try not to touch your body because if you get this stuff on your hands, it's like, uh, it, it really dries out your skin. It's not good. So that's gonna be it for this, uh, this day in the life. Uh, I'm gonna do some work on my computer for a couple hours and I'm gonna lay down and go to bed. Uh, it's probably 8.30, 9 o'clock right now and I'm not gonna get to bed until 1 or 2 a.m. because I do have quite a bit of work to do on the computer. Uh, thankfully, I don't have to film a video tonight because it's this video or uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, actually, no, I have to I have to go film part of my Kefir video for this weekend, so uh, I still have to do that, but a uh, pretty busy day, and uh, I mean, you know, hopefully all this work pays off a couple of years from now. So thank you guys for joining me. Please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. If you guys do want to support me further, please just share the video, tune into my videos every day, and you guys know how you can support me even further than that. You know, Frankie's Syringe Me, Frankie's Naturals, frank if you want to look like a Roman statue. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.